Hello, welcome to We Do Some Fly Fishing. Today I'm gonna be quick. I have a quick tip for you to how to wind on your lead wire onto a hook using your Norwise. The way you're gonna do that is you take your lead wire onto through the hook eye, wind around. I have a jiggy head here, so just wind on. Three, four rounds use your tension just snip it off there and your nail to cut it off there pull it out pull it out like that just push it into the cone okay I'm gonna repeat it with another hook because I'm making a lot of those uh, flies today this is gonna be a jiggy well, another time, <laughs> once time, once more, I just take the lead wire, put it in the hook eye, round, and just three, four, five rounds. Just a fun way to do it. And just use your nail, just cut it off. And just push it into the cone. There's gonna be some lacquer or glue here afterwards. Okay, that's was all I got uh, for you today. Uh, just a quick tip. So tight lines and keep on subscribing my channel. Bye bye. Hello, welcome to We Do Some Fly Fishing. Today we're gonna show you how to how I prepare my jiggies for tying with the Norwise. The way I done that is I had uh, some lead inside here and then some lacquer into the cone, and I loaded my spool, spool, with some cheap Gudebrod 8 thread, white, right? and I touch my thread like that, take it upside down, and I take off some clump of white bucktail. This is gonna be white and pink bucktail. And I prepare it, I take a grip of the longest here, pull it out like that, and measure out how long I want it to be. This is about the right length. Okay, snip it off, just wind the thread forward, and attach it. And to, to make sure that it stays on top of the hook, I just I do like that. Just make some tension on it and it stays perfectly on top. And I'm gonna place the pink one. I have some pink here. Take it a little clump. The thing with this flies is that it has to be sparse. You don't look it shouldn't look like a broomstick. Well now I just dot din dot this done the same procedure as uh, with the white measure out snip off I like to tie in with a snip off point if it that's called like that wind on and do the same as the white keep the tension on it so it stays perfectly on top and now I'm gonna use the capabilities of the Norwise wind on some thread back and forth you see how easy it goes on I got loads of this thread so it's not very important to save some just to make some hand whip finisher like that it's not so very important because all this is going to be covered but, uh, by by some uh, lacquer. I use this kind. I got uh, this kind. Fluorescing hard head or a clear hard head to cover all, the, all this up. I put my, 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 uh, sorry, my flies on the drying wheel because I'm allergic to... Uh, UV resin 
I have to take it use some more time with it and now I put on some gills this is fluorescent orange red thread just make it sure that it's solid and some hand whip finish there as well that's all I do that uh, what remains now is that I have to put on some ice the ice goes on on the white part here I put it on with some super glue and I cover it all up with some uh, loon fluorescent hardhead in several times and put it on the dry wheel and when I get the uh, desired result it's okay that's all I have for you folks uh, hope you like this little tip it's not so very uh, advanced but it's a tip though so stay on tight lines and bye bye mm -hmm.